Becoming a commander of covenant wealth. How to become a commander of covenant wealth. How to make a demand on the anointing or demand on the word of God or demand on the promises of God or demand on the power of God in where he promised that he would call his people to walk in wealth. How to be a commander. How, how to uh, cause wealth to obey you when you talk to it. How to counsel debt. I mean, just talk to it and debt won't leave because manifestations start taking place in your life. You want to know that? Yes. Your wealth, your financial well-being is a covenant matter. You understand that? It is a covenant matter. God took care of that. The Bible even says Jesus became poor that we might become rich. People try to spiritualize that. But in the 8th chapter and the uh, ninth chapter of, of 2 Corinthians, it's talking about money. It's talking about real wealth. They're not talking about being wealthy spiritually. It's talking about being wealthy financially with material gain and increase in your life that you can be a blessing. It's a revelation there that wherever you are financially, you can sow your way out. When you, when you become a bona fide sower, Carolyn and I sowed our way out of every financial predicament the devil has caused us to get in. There's a breakthrough in covenant financial wealth. And until we break through there, Jesus can't come. Because there's souls that need to be harvested. And when Jesus said, go ye in all the world, you need some money to go in all the world. You, you ain't So I don't count money though. I don't count that. I don't even talk about no budget when I'm receiving off and all that. I ain't got time for that. You don't you live by a budget, you're broke. <laughs> People who got money don't have no budget. A budget is just to keep up and see can you get can you get that next thing. <laughs> Listen, people who got money don't know how much you have. Because money working for them all the time. Money, money, you can make money employee for you if, if you got enough Amen. you should have been had your money yeah. why why the Lord spoke to me one day he says money or wealth is the elementary thing of the anointed I don't know how the church skip it they got they got word of knowledge word of wisdom the son in the spirit no money the Lord said it's the elementary thing in anointing. Find him, him setting you, fi listen to me, listen to me. Him setting you financially free is an elementary task to the anointing. I'm not playing no game. I, this, this is no game to me. This is, this is an assignment from God. I don't care what nobody say about me. They can't, nobody can do me nothing. They can call me a false prophet. They can say I, I, this, that all he talk about is money. This is my assignment. What Benny Hinn talk about? Y'all go sit there and say hallelujah there. I've been in talking. Because y'all you know you're going to talk about healing. Let some of all, he's going to talk about devil. How he hate the devil. He's going to care devil that when he's living. I talk about money. And wealth. And breakthrough. And getting out of debt. And having your money. And living your dream. And being a big giver in your church. 